What's that? Oh, go ahead. Show them that. Show them that. I'm thinking about just using the gasket, but I do have. Go ahead, show them the gasket, and I'm gonna show them the silicone that we got. Hey, welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. It's Peanut, I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure. Every day is an automotive adventure. Yep. But before we get into today's video, let's give an official shout out to our official sponsor. GraphSpotVA.com. GraphicsPotVA.com. We're going to be below. Anything graphic related. Yep. Anything promotional, like oh. t-shirts, hoodies, hats, um, promotional, uh, what else they do? Tumblers? Yeah. You know, all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, reach out to them. Graphic design, yeah. of course, is number one. They can um, do a logo for you or redo the logo that you might already yeah. have. And on to our next sponsor is going to be Innovative Powders. Right there, point that way. Boom! Innovative Powders. Uh, their contact information with their logo is going to be right yeah. there. You know, they're a great sponsor to us. Reach out to them for all your powder coat needs. Yep. They can get it done. Uh, come on, it's car show season. I know some of you guys need to get... Well, he didn't hit his head on the bottom of the car because we got it up in there. But I know some of you guys need some of that powder coating. Yeah. You know, it lasts a long time. Very durable as long as you don't, you know, yep. very durable. Very durable. Yeah. All right, today's video, we got GNX 548 up in the air. Yep. I'm going to have um, Peanut go ahead. We're going to drain the differential fluid out of the differential uh, because I'm going to show y'all a slight little issue that we're having. It's not a big issue, but uh, Buicks like to leak. Yep. But we're going to fix this leak real quick uh, because it's um, it's not in the army. We would say a class one leak. It's not a major leak. Class three means a consistent, constant drip. But this one is just like it's a leak. It just drips a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and fix it. And also we're going to go ahead and add our Amzol product in there, which yep. I'm going to show you guys. Yep. Um, so, over yeah, it's, it's over there. Right. So, so let me turn this around. All right, this is what we have. Peanuts going, oh, you keep hitting your head, buddy. I'm not going to lift it no higher. You just have to go in the, other, um, the ladder room. But what we have is, I don't know if y'all can see it, you know, a leak right here. at the. Yeah. It's at the bottom right here, too. And we're just going to go ahead. You going to use the rag? All right, go ahead. And we're going to go ahead and take this pumpkin cover off, put a new gasket on it, um, seal it back up, you know, and be done with it and put our fluid in it. But first and foremost... I'm going to show y'all what we're using. Go ahead and show them what we're using. We're using the Severe Gear 8090, fully synthetic from Amzul, along with Slip Lock. Slip Lock, because we got a limited slip differential. And this car, yep. a Eaton True Track differential in this car, right? Yep. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing. What's that? Oh, go ahead. Show them that. Show them that. I'm thinking about just using the gasket, but I do have, go ahead, show them the gasket and I'm gonna show them the silicone that we got. I love this Mopar RTV. Yeah, it's Been using good. it for years. It's a, it's a great RTV. Yeah. I don't know if I wanna use the RTV or just, a, show them that gasket right there, or just the gasket to the 10 bolt. I got a ton of these gaskets that I got off Rock Auto for like a dollar a piece. They was Fell Pro Wholesale a couple of years ago. But this is some good stuff right here. I love this RTV gasket. Yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. It's so good. You go to the dealership, I think it's like 27 bucks for one tube. But I've been using this stuff for years with great uh, success. So let us go ahead and get ready to go ahead and get peanuts to drain it. That's what we drain it. Look, luckily, you know, we got the new uh, differential cover on there. You could drain it. Then you got the top fill right here. Man, this this gonna make it life a lot easier. So, all right, let us get to work. 
All right, what y'all see, team running? We just draining it, peanuts draining it for us. Yep. Uh, we thought we could get it to drain a little quicker if we took the top one out. But no, it's taking a sweet old little time. It's like watching paint dry. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and let it drain. And then peanuts gonna take the pumpkin cover off, right? Yeah. If he stops hitting his head on the exhaust. So we're gonna go ahead and get it, get it right, y'all. Get it right yep. for the uh, for the Georgia trip. We're going to get it right. Watch your head. What I can do is now, uh, if you want to, come down and move the ladder around here. Because once it's done draining, that red thing gets moved out. No, no, no. This way. Yep. You're doing right. You're doing right. Right there. Because uh, once it's done draining, we'll move that uh, that red thing, the, the drain thing out. You'll be good to go. So you don't keep hitting your head on the exhaust. Yep. All right. We'll be right back. We're going to let this drain. I know we Y'all don't want to be looking at that, right? Yeah. All right. All right, team, run it. We are right here. Uh, yeah. We're going to let it cure over overnight because we put the uh, the gasket on it. It's still... Uh, it's still drying. Yeah. Got the screws in it. And we're going to let it dry overnight. Then tomorrow, we'll put the uh, fluid. Y'all know the fluid we're using. Do I? I need to show y'all again. Bam, bam, right there. Along with the Amsoil slip lock, because we got an eating posse, eating true track in here. Want to treat it right? Don't want to burn it up. Peanut did a good job. He's checking over his work, and we might even come out here and put a little bit, just not too much, tighten the bolts down just a little bit more. Yeah, you can see the gasket. We want to secure. He want to move his up. Hopefully this wind thing. Oh no no no! Uh, just leave that alone. We, we, we'll we'll uh, we'll what's your name of it tomorrow? We'll cut it off once it dries. Okay. Yeah, it's a school night. I gotta get you inside, buddy. I gotta get you inside. But this is to be continued. To be continued. All right, leave everything right there. You dropping everything? Go ahead, leave it right there. But we are going to move this over because we don't need this anymore. We'll move our little thing back over here. Y'all, y'all wouldn't believe it, man. I done lost the, the trailer lock keys, but I'm going to find them. They're somewhere around here. Yeah, you lost the trailer keys. Yeah, I lost the trailer keys. I'm going to find them. They might be in the house. We're going to move this back because we don't need it. Dropped all the gear oil in there. Hey, what you over there doing? Okay. All right. All right, come on down. Let me move our card out the way. To be continued. Right, Peanut? To be continued. All right, team, run it. We on day two. We about to get this job complete. So I'm gonna turn around, let y'all see what Peanut is doing. We actually, uh, I got something to explain to y'all. That's something I learned in the military. A lot of people don't like doing it this way, but I did it this way because I did GNX 549 the same way. So let me go ahead, uh, flip this uh, camera around real quick. Bam, there's Peanut right there. What I did was, oh, you okay? Yeah. I Watch hit, your head right I hit there. It right here. No, you hit it right here. No, right here. All right, all right. Uh, I used the actual gasket and uh, uh, the seal. I put sealant on both sides of the gasket and I mount it. And I ain't never had no issues with leaks uh, from the pumpkin covers. Um, I used to do the same on all the military vehicles, believe it or not. And those things vibrate like crazy, the military vehicles. So that's the way I did it. I did GNX 549 the same way. It doesn't leak. A lot of people don't like it that way, but hey, that's the way I do it. Uh, I was I was going to explain that uh, earlier in the video, but I just wanted to wait for you guys to see the finished product. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just going to leave that up there. You could cut it off. It's, it's dry, as y'all could tell. Uh, and like I said, I use that Mopar, uh, you know, sealant. And it works wonders. I've been using that stuff for years because uh, a good buddy of mine uh, from Maryland used to always use it when he did uh, all his automotive work. So I'm just biting his style right now, just biting his style. And it works. That stuff is good. Some of the best uh, sealing I ever used in my life. Because usually when I was a, a young soldier, uh, we used to use sealant, right? And I would put the sealant on and it would still leak and I would be upset because it was a kickback on the work. So Pina, go ahead and take this one off. Can you can you do it? Go ahead and take that off. Alright, you can sit it right there. That's why we got the ladder. 
Go ahead. You can go get these. I'm gonna go get these cutters for you. No, 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 no. First thing first. Don't worry about that. Just kick them back over. I pick them up. Grab that slip lock. We're gonna put the slip lock in first. And you can bring that too. You can bring that bag because we're gonna need it anyway. Can I bring also? Say again. No, I got this. No, no, I'll bring the bags to you. You just go up there. Just like how you did the Mustang. See, once you open that, you're going to see why you need these. Oh. All right. Go ahead. Go up the ladder. You just snip it, like, right at that line right there. Up here. See where that little line is? Can you do it? Hit them with the cutters. You got it? Hey, hey, don't. Bring it up for you don't spill none of it, right? Here, let me cut it for you. I don't want you to spill none of this. Ah, there I go. All right, I don't now see if you can stick it in there. Let me because this muffler might be in your way. All right, so. yeah, he got it. My bag, he can run. I'm sitting here with the go ahead, squeeze it. There you go. You should be get it all in there without spilling it. That's the goal. It might be empty already. So let's pick this up. Yeah, you always want to put your slip lock in first. Then you put the, because it's four fluid ounces. We just want to get that done and over with. Before we don't forget to put it in there. Then we have all this chatter and all this mess with the with the posi unit. All right, now get that rag and wipe that for me. Sorry about the camera. Earlier team running. I'm like, man. All right, you good. Now, I'm going to help you with this. Because this muffler, look, I got the muffler in the way right here. One day that muffler going to come up out of here and we're going to put that uh, other muffler system on here that we got. Uh, hold on, no, no, no. Hold on, you're probably right. Take it off, take it off. It might have a, yep, you're right. So here's what we do, Wolf. Now you got to hold on, hold on to it with both hands so it don't spill. All right. I got you right there. All right, put this back on. Real good. I might. I don't know if we gotta cut this or not. If you hold that for me, gotta be cut. Where the cutter is at? Right there. Uh, you can cut it at that line right there. The, the first line. Come down some. That right there. Ooh, sorry. That right there. Alright, cut it some more. There you go. Alright, without spilling it, it might be kind of hard to get that up in there because that muffler might be in the way. Alright, make sure here, let me help you tilt this on. There we go. We're we'll gonna squeeze on it. I probably should have cut it a little wider. But would be all right. All right, use both hands, Peanut. Use that hand. You ain't gonna fall off the ladder. You squeeze it while I hold. I'm gonna hold it. Make sure it stays up in there. Keep squeezing. Hey, these Amsoil little um, easy pouches are pretty nice. It's almost like you, you don't even need a funnel. As you get more in there, you can get past that muffler because it'll. It'll uh, fold the package. Yeah, we're going to get this done. Team, run it. Go ahead. Another thing I think I'm going to do this year, too, is we're going to clean underneath this car. Pressure wash it real good. And get us some, uh, get us some, some flat black paint. All right. Let me help you out a little bit. I got the Hey, hold that nozzle in there for me. And we're going to paint the underside of this car by hand. We getting there. We getting there. All right, so let me fold this up. Yeah, you just hold it up there. I think we're going to need three of these. We even got eating on there. Look, eating. I see it right there in the directions. Right there. I right, just hold it up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, team, run it. 
Peanut's wiping it down. We put four quarts in her. She's good. She's topped off. Yep. We're happy. We don't see no leaks. We'll road test no it. No leaks at the top. Yeah, you ain't going to see no leaks at the top until it's running. Yeah. Until the gears are turning. So no we leaks. good. The leak, the main leak was right here at the bottom. That's what I didn't want. Yeah, like want. right here. Right there. So that's what we didn't want. Look at us. We got to clean up. Pick up our funnels. I'll sweep underneath here. We can lower the car now. Yeah. We can lower it down. But before we do all that, we're going to close out this video. Yeah. I'm going to turn it around. All right, team, run it. We done. Fixed this little minor leak. It was nothing major. Fixed it uh, for a spring break and for the outer banks because we will be driving this car down to the outer banks. That's what really made me want to uh, fix it. And we're going to be in the Georgia area with this car, too. So it really made me want to uh, repair things, right? Yeah. But we got our Amzor right here, right, Peanut? Yep. So we're going to go ahead and close out this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification, Hit that notification bell. Peanut did a good job on this. You know, he cleaned it up and all that. Yep. And, you know, we appreciate all the support. We're going to go ahead and close this out. That's Peanut. I'm James, Peanut's Automotive Ventures. We out. Peace. Peace.